My This is my feasibility study on Wichita State football. My first slide is just talking about the history of Wichita State football. Um, in October 2nd, 1970, the famous plane crash that killed over half of the Wichita State football team, including the head coach and the athletic director. Um, they continued football a month after the crash. Um, they didn't have a very good season, obviously. They were allowed to play freshmen that year due to the lack of players. They discon discontinued football after the 1986 season because Wichita State could not financially um, stay up with the program. Market analysis. Um, finding a stadium is the first key for a football startup. And Cessna Stadium, they have a stadium already, but um, then it would need an estimated uh, $24 million of renovation. It can hold 31,000 people, which is up to Division One standards, so that's also good, but um, the renovation will be probably the biggest test for Wichita State. If they can get through that hurdle, I think they can house a football team. Um, the biggest target market in my mind would be the students. If they, if they can sell it to the students, then obviously they can get a decent crowd there most Saturdays. And if the students don't want to go, then, I mean, the community will not back that at all. But I think if they can sell it to the students, that should be their number one goal is to sell football to the student base. Um, the renovation of Cessna Stadium is probably the first big hurdle of the project. They have to make it up to ADA standards and in line with the Division One standards, like I've said. And they need to hold a minimum of 30,000 people. And it holds 31,000. Um, it needs to be able to... The, the law of like the Disability Act, it needs to be wheelchair accessible all around the stadium, which is another big thing that the assessment stadium does not have currently. And I think they could acquire these funds through tax-free bonds. It would help with lower the interest rates that they would have to pay back, unlike a traditional loan. Um, the second part after they get past the stadium is finding a staff that can put together the football team. The Kennesaw State, when they chose their head coach, they chose him because he was a Georgia man and he knew the area, which is something that a coach at Wichita State would have to do. Not necessarily the Wichita area, but needs to be able to recruit in the deep, talented places like the Californias, the Texas, and so on and so forth. Um, a head coach on the FCS level, which is where Wichita State would need to start out at, make, makes around, the top coaches make around the top 100, 500,000, which is considerably cheap compared to the FBS teams. Um, so they don't have to pay coaching staff that much money. By gaining new revenue, re revenue streams through ticket sales from the students, charge the students a student fee, which could add another revenue stream for them, then I think moving conferences would be the best bet for them, moving them to the Big East in all sports to build their brand more nationally. And expenses, like I've said, renovation to Cessna Stadium, $24 million. Um, I estimated the coaching staff to be around $1 million. And like I've said, the falling of the Kennesaw State's blueprint, I think they, they started it right. The only thing different is they had a stadium that was already ready to house a football team. But as far as building a staff and then marketing their program, I think Wichita State needs to follow what they did, and I think they can be successful in that. Financial options. Um, sponsorship dollars help just create a beautiful venue. Look at Ch uh, Coke Arena. Um, that place has become, over the years, just a spectacle to go to. Um, big donors like Charles Koch, obviously around the Wichita area, and finding uh, revenue streams to help um, revenue or bring in revenue for the football team. When jersey sales come, when jerseys come out, everyone will want to buy a football jersey. Um, student fees, like I've said, and television rights. If they want to move conferences, be big for television rights because FX has a huge television um, sponsorship with the Big East. I think growth, uh, five-year plan should move conferences, and I think revenue can uh, could be with the one like the basketball team brings in. In conclusion, if I mean if all goes well, the football team can match what the basketball team brings in, which is around a million dollars a year. And I think moving to the Big East Conference will be will help ginormously build Wichita State uh, not only as a, on the sports level but also on the institutional level, bring more kids to campus and further growing the Wichita State sports brand and the football team and the school. And